Hi guys, in this Did You Know segment, I'm going to go over our list builder. Now, for those who don't know what the list builder is, SmartSuite has a widget that is installable, uh, and this widget allows you to create a list of items. So I'm going to show you how we add this uh, list builder widget to your homepage, uh, to, sorry, to your search page. I'm going to show you how to add this list builder widget to your search page. So, from your main menu, we want to go to our schools collection. Now you can add this to any page. Uh, it doesn't have to be the search page, but it is easier to add to the search page as you have a results container there. As you can see, I've already got uh, list builder installed. But what I'll do is show you how to add this builder if it's not already added. So on your main menu, hit your page settings button. Okay. On the tab container that is located here, uh, this is probably the easiest place to add your list builder just because it's right next to your results container, which is what you use to add items to your list. So let's pretend this list builder isn't here. We'll add a new one by clicking this plus symbol. Okay, from your list of widgets, we're just gonna hover over the right side until we find our list builder. It's towards the end, so you just have to slow down a little bit. Okay, there it is. All you have to do is Click on that, change the name if you feel list builder isn't what you want it to say. You can enter any name in there. Once you've added your name, click this big button here that says a pen tab to container. Okay, you can add a description. Now this is only gonna show if someone has admin rights to access page builder. Um, you can ignore that for now. Hit your save widget settings, and you can see our list builder appears here. All right. You'll then go ahead and hit save. You'll get this little warning. Just click OK to refresh the page for you. And you can see here, my second list builder tab is there. All right. So now to use the list builder, click on the tab, okay? Each user has their own list, okay? So if you are logged in as yourself, you can't see my lists. If I'm logged in as myself, I can't see your lists. All right, so let's create a new list by clicking the button up here. List name. Okay, you can add a description if you feel you need to. Um, I won't add one at the moment. Hit the plus symbol there, and my list is created. Okay, there are a few ways to add items to your list. Um, you can select an item, it appears here. You have a plus symbol, and that'll add your item. Okay, if you click on the next item, Okay, you can go through and add them all in. You also have a quick add option. When that item is ticked, as you scroll, click on items and they add automatically to your list. And you can go through and add as many as you like. Okay. And the benefit of quick add is you don't have the actual item appear here and then have to click the plus so you can add them straight away. The other option is if you don't have quick item tick like I do, you'll have your keyword search here. So I can then go and search Volcano. And that will search the whole catalog for me for anything um, that contains the volcano in the, in the title, as well as notes and subjects. Again, you have a plus symbol, so you can go through and add that from there. 
All right, so once I've got my list, there are a few other ways you can add separate items. Your YouTube button here allows you to search YouTube. Okay, I can search YouTube, and now this is everything on YouTube. I can go through and add whatever it is I want. Okay, all new items are added to the bottom of the list. You have your website button here. Again, when you click that, it'll ask for a title, a URL, and a description. The only things you need to fill out are the title and the URL. So I'll add Google, for example. And this is Google. Hit the plus symbol. And you can see that right there. Now you see these little icons located on the right of each item that's been added. The eyeball will load a preview, take you straight to the record, so you can view what that item is. Okay, in this case it's a video. And each item opens in a new tab. this is a lesson and so on and so forth now you've got this button here click and drag so you can reorder your list okay this button here allows you to edit item information for this item on your list so if this item is something I don't want year sevens to use then I would say this Record is for year eight and above. Okay, I can then hit save on that and then we'll add that description to that item. You also have a little bin, so if you feel like I don't want that, I'm going to remove that. And that's what that little bin does. Okay, so that is creating a list, adding items to the list, and understanding the icons. What I'll take you through now is uh, sharing your list. This button here allows you to share the list. Now there are two options to share. Static list, which gives um, a, a simple list to another person, where they cannot edit or change anything on your list. They just see your list. Collaborative list allows you to add someone that you want to add to your list. They can't remove items from your list, but they can add whatever they want to that list. Simple as selecting your option. You can search via email address, or you can search via name. Enter in the name. Hit search. Okay, it would give you the patron, select their tick box, and click add selected. Okay, Ishan will now get an email from me saying I've given him access to view a list. And because it's a static list, all he can do is view that. If I then want to add someone who can edit the list, search for Rob. Select Rob and then add selected. Okay, and that will then send Rob an email saying he's been given access to my list, but because he's added as a collaborator, he will be able to add items to my list. This option here allows you to print your list. So if I just go back, here's my list, click print. see my list there okay now currently these um, fields are locked but if you want something else added to this list definitely let us know and we can add that in for you 
So that is using List Builder. If you have any questions about List Builder that I haven't covered, please send us a message in the mailbox and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks guys.